So the mayor told me, his staff told me today that Miguel Avila don't need to be screened back. He doesn't have to ask for key for the washroom unless he goes downstairs. What car? They didn't give me nothing. What is it? Back when you come back in. What do I do with this? Well, you take it with you, then when you're done, you should return it. That's what they do. That's what we were told. A car to go into the washing. God, this is technology, sir. I got a car now to go into the washroom. Maybe it has a listening device. Maybe they're tracking my. Um, my going in and going out. I don't know. I didn't create this plan. You know, this is their doing, not my doing. They created this situation and it's a serious inconvenience for people like me. I had ideas and I had to pee. Sorry for the noise, but that's me, right? I'm here in the washroom telling you that, you know, that this happens only on city council days on the third level C. I have people asking me, Miguel, what's going on? I come to city hall and on the first level and the second level, they're not doing anything. Well, the issue is that that's not happening downstairs. I agree. Then there are no barriers for handicapped people downstairs. The, hand, the, the situation is here on the third level C where city council meets. So I mean asked to carry this little thing device. Probably, probably this may have some kind of listening device, but anyway, I'm gonna give it back. So they say now, it says return to security and I return it back to security. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oops. And I return it back. Beautiful day, not in Toronto, sir. Not in Toronto. I will never have one.